Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel, this is John, welcome back to another McDonald's Global Menu Review. As you know, I live in Chicago, pretty close to the uh, headquarters, which has a rotating global menu. You know, I frequently check the menus to see when they have updated, and I just noticed they have a few new things. As well as some returning things, the McAlu burger, which I didn't really like, it's still there. This is like the third rotation they've kept it. Um, <clears throat> it's like a vegan burger, so that's probably why they keep it, just to keep uh, something on the menu for the vegans out there. Anyway, they have two new sandwiches. One's called the 1955 burger, and this is the this is of the German. McDonald's menu. Um, I did have one of these, but I didn't. Uh, I, don't, I had it, so it's gone. Um, basically, what it is, it is a. I think it's a special sized burger because they do call it the 1955 patty. Though the patty just tasted like regular meat, I think it was just a specific size of patty for this burger. But it has uh, lettuce, tomato grilled onion and bacon no cheese but it does have a 1955 sauce which it's kind of like a barbecue mayo if i had to specify it to something familiar um <clears throat> it was good uh it was a little bit bigger than a regular sandwich i think it might have been quarter pounder uh, it looked thinner and wider than a quarter pounder. But it might be the same size, just a little bit thinner and widened out. Anyway, what I am going to try for you today are two things. One thing are these onion rings. Now, they had onion rings before, and they said they were from uh, the UK. And then looking at the menu right now, these ones also say that are from Australia. The other ones were also from Australia. Well, originally I thought it was the UK, but I'm just looking at the flag wrong. Anyway, so I've definitely had these before. I had these way back when the McRib came out, um, so I could try it on a McRib. These are battered, uh, not breaded, they're battered. Classic fried onion flavor. A slight sweetness to the onion. Perhaps a malty flavor in the battering. Maybe to mimic or even including a beer type ingredient that makes it give that malty flavor. It's a decent onion ring. They're better than the burger onion rings, for sure. I prefer battered onion rings than breaded onion rings. So it might have something to do with it. <coughs> but I give a thumbs up if you're a fan of battered onion rings. You like the McDonald's ones. Now, here's the big thing that I'm going to be reviewing. It says that it was created just for you. Which is interesting because I never asked for them to create this, but once they created it, I definitely wanted to try it. This is called the Mick Arabia. And I believe I probably should have looked this up before. Is Arabia a country? Arabia. What country is Arabia today? Saudi Arabia. What is the flag of Saudi Arabia flag? Um, the first one I saw was not it. Uh, but then this one 
Palestine? It kind of looks like the Palestine flag. Palestine flag. Huh. It does look like the Palestine flag on the menu, but instead of a pendant, it's just a rectangle. Unless, for some reason, they can't use it. Let's say it's Palestine. Anyway, this is called the Mick Arabia, and it has two chicken patties, but it also has uh, mayo, lettuce, tomato on a flat bread. It's kind of like a double chicken burger, I want to say. Mayo, shredded lettuce, aroma tomato, but there's also crispy garlic, slivered onions. You see, like something that could be onions. Oh, there's a garlic sliver. <clears throat> Looks like little slices of garlic that were fried until they became crispy. I have lettuce just on the floor right now that I'm gonna have to clean up after. Let's try this and see how good it is. I can tell you it is messy. It was a little plain taste in there for a second, but then I bit into one of those garlic pieces and just slammed in the mouth with some garlic flavor. It's okay. It kind of like reminds me of a Donair or a I like a gyro or chicken shawarma. I feel like there should be like another spice flavor ingredient here. Um, I'm sure in Saudi Arabia and Palestine and Arabia areas that they season this with something. It's not just like very white chicken. And I think it's missing that. It needs like the that regional spice flavor, either on the chicken patty or mixed into a sauce or something. Because it's okay. So it mostly tastes like garlicky chicken. But I feel like it should have something else that it doesn't. And that's slightly disappointed. I'm not gonna give it a thumbs down, but I'm gonna give it like a mm, this kind of thing. Thumbs sideways at each other. Like that. Anyway. I think it has potential. I think it would be a lot better with some spice, some seasoning, something that's going to make this taste more flavorful, but more distinct to what Palestinian food is supposed to taste like, you know? I just feel like it's too bland. It's, it's missing that regional flavor um, to really call this a Mick Arabia. It just tastes like a Mick Chicken Wrap. A garlic Mick Chicken Wrap. Anyway, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is, once again, the Global McDonald's menu items for this would be the month of May 2023. I'll keep checking in probably a month or two 
another video might come out where I try more McDonald's food from the global headquarters here in Chicago, Illinois. And until then, you'll have to deal with my other videos that are definitely still coming up between those two things. That's not the only thing I do. You should subscribe to the channel and you'll find all those great entertaining videos that I produce. They're award winning. I just created an award and gave it to myself so I could say that. Anyway, so long. Goodbye. Very well.